it. <clears throat> Checking out the hopefully not last critique. Um, and you mentioned the jump. This is not playing probably because I need to make it all big and small again. There you go. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Well, I don't know. I think for this it would be... Alright, so you're having him go back. One thing you can do, right? So you have... You got the fingers here. You can argue that he's still holding. It's just the fingers going back. But then once he pushes here, you see how... The push starts all over the place here. Everything is moving, including that arm. Now, if he's pushing, you want to make sure that it initiates the shoulder. If the shoulder will go up and back a bit, that would twist the chest around, bring the head down sideways a bit, and then bring his root back. You want to see a chain reaction, basically. Not everything at the same time. And then, same thing here. This lift, you see stuff is happening with the fingers. And the head, the butt, the chest, and then he pushes off. And then you got a slight moment, if you watch the head spacing, it's like he goes in a circle, and then here, it's like a pivot off of here. And then comes out forward here. So it doesn't feel like it's a, a specific center where he does like a, a turn like that. It feels like he's doing like like a twist, and there's another, another pivot here, and then... Not that he you know, twirls a couple times, but there's something about um, the change of pivot. And you gotta make sure that that pivot is always out of the center mass, like the heaviest point. But I think for this, you wanna make sure that you can see a push off hips first. I mean, it depends if you're pushing off with this, right? Initiating, initiating the whole thing with um, the legs. You know, is he pushing off with his arms or legs? And you can argue if it's the legs, then it would be this going up first, then taking the chest and everything else with it. So you would have, you know, a, a, you would have a pose where part of the butt is here, but the rest is still down there. The chest is here, the head is here, everything is still there. Um, you would just have something like that where you can clearly see pushes off <clears throat> with the butt, but the landing's cool. Again, I love all this. I mean, this is so great. You could, you know, if you want to go into more complexities, how he stops here, you could argue that this step here, this is too high. He would be lower around here with the toes. And then when he comes to a stop, it's boom. And then nothing moves, right? So you could say that after this, he would do like a little step forward here, a little twist in the legs here. Some more little movement and settle in his arms. If you want to make that a bit more complex, potentially. That's cool. I love that look there. And this might be a bit strong there at the end. Like you, you go there and it's kind of like you're hitting. You're going from this, right? Into that and then back into this. And it feels like this is your pose A, B, and back to A. As opposed to something else where he might go back and plant his foot here. And do like a weight shift where then he's more... More like that, arms out. Not that my drawings would help in any way. <laughs> it's still a really cool clip. And that's the best part is, you know, how focused you have the head at this point now. It's always clear where he looks. Goes around, especially here, how he sees it. Yeah, it's great. And then this guy. Ah, same thing as before. That's my bad. There you go. So you mentioned um, post to post stuff, breakdowns, and in between. Cool. Oh, I like it. There's some tiny things here and there, but overall, it got a really cool feel to it. All right, grabs all that stuff here. So the major points, right? Just doesn't work. As you continue on, you know, you can have like a tiny move here not that it has to, it feels like it's completely completely locked you want to have like a slight little wiggle or something that's fine goes into that and then oh, oh, 
I think once he goes into this, like he goes into oh here, and then once it lifts here, I think you could just bring that head back just a bit further back. Yeah, no, no, my drawing is gonna help. But... Just you know, he starts, and then as it finally comes up and lifts, um, you will see a change in posing, just because of now it's like all through all of this. The section of the chest and the head stays the same. And then... Pow, this is a bit tricky here. So I love how it settles. Boom! That's great. Oh, 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 oh. And right there is a bit tricky where... You go down and then here... Careful, you got this moment of... This constant backwards move. Boop! And right around here. It pivots off his neck almost. And then he continues to go back. So make sure... At this point, he always goes back, always goes back, always goes back into this. And then I would make less of a stop. It would be more like, and then immediately go forwards to, because he's countering the whole thing. It's not like he's trying to stop, he's trying to go against it. So to have that pause here feels a bit too weird. It's kind of like a pop there, it kind of immediately moves forward. And then I think, I think once you go down here, it, I mean, it would be so heavy. That is what really, 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 um, what's the word? Like, you know, bring this side down. And I think you could bring this shoulder out, uh, this elbow. So it's more like that type of, that makes no sense. Um, all right, so you got the wrist here and then arm out, elbow out. And the way you have it here, arm out, elbow out. I like guess really, really trying and the shoulders up and he's already potentially arcing, arching back a bit with his back just to make sure that he doesn't let it all drop because it's quite heavy, right? So before that we showed that the weight in here to be bent forward, I think he would already be bent back a bit because it is so heavy. And this is too much of a pause. So it would be immediately into this. So none of that stopping here. I'm not sure if me cutting this would help, but so, I can pretend that this is going to work. It's going to be a pop, but let's see, just idea wise, right? <clears throat> do, 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 do. And then he goes, uh, that would be a lot better. Boom. Love your timing of the drop, though. Boom. It's great. Whoop. And I think for the ending, that's great. And then how he hits here, that's awesome, right? But then you could, boom, on the drop here. So it's not completely just flat one axis. He could drop sideways maybe on one of the shoulders, which bounces him more towards us or vice versa, whatever. And then not that flat. You know, it could be, he do, could then have kind of a slight twist to it where one leg could be like this and one like this and... And I guess he could still hold on to it. Maybe he can drop one arm and so you can see clearly his face. And that guy's still here. You know, something where it's a bit more broken up than just so straight. Um, but those are the major points I, I would look at timing-wise. Um, but it's really cool. I really hope you're going to continue with that one. Because um, there's some really, really nice timing. There's really nice weight in there. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.